What's up, YouTube fragrance family and friends? Tommy with Studio Sense here. Welcome to the very first video of 2022. Welcome to a brand new year. A belated happy new year to you guys, and we're closing the door on 2021. In retrospect, I know you guys probably feel exactly the way that I do. Really happy to shut the door on 2021 and look forward to 2022. Lots of cool things are gonna be happening in terms of men's fragrance, in terms of fragrance in general, so we're looking forward to lots of new cool content in 2022. In fact, today is the very first edition for 2022 of what's happening in men's fragrance. So when we return, we're gonna take a look at nine brand new fragrances. That and more is coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. And again, welcome to the first edition of What's Happening in Men's Fragrance 2022. We've got a lot going on, but I did want to take a quick second and let you guys know for all of you out there that are just kind of casual observers of my channel, that just stop by when you can or when you think of it and not necessarily on a regular basis because just like everyone else, you're very busy. Go ahead and stop for a second, look at YouTube and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Not only that, but make sure you hit that bell icon and that way you get notified of content which I'm going to be dropping now on the daily. And so if you haven't selected the bell icon, you're not going to get that notification. And if you're like me, most of the channels that when I take the time to watch them is usually when I get that notification, I'm like, oh, cool, new content. And so I'll watch a little bit of it and then I move on. Go ahead and do that right now and then we'll move right on into what we've got today. Again, we've got about nine different fragrances. We're gonna take a quick look at new releases. So let's go ahead and jump into our content. Lots of stuff happening. Some fragrance houses came out of nowhere just as 2021 was ending and said, here you go, here's some fragrances. And then as 2022 began, some fragrance houses said, here you go, here's some fragrances. It's either super slow or there's a lot of stuff released at once. Almost like they all call each other on their bat phone and say, hey, are you gonna release today or tomorrow? And then they do the same thing. They all follow suit. That's okay by me. I'd rather have more new stuff to choose from as opposed to not. The first set of fragrances we're gonna talk about are new releases that are available now. You can actually go out to retail store locations and purchase them, or you can purchase them at Macy's or Sephora or Ulta online. The first fragrance we're gonna talk about was released as 2021 was ending by Christian Dior. It is Dior Homme Sport 2021. Now this one kind of surprised me because there are four generations of fragrances. Do we need really that many sport fragrances? Christian Dior apparently thinks so. The OG Sport was released in 2008 and then it was reformed and released in 2012, then 2017, and here now 2021 or 2021 of yesterday. Let's talk about the formula. It's vibrant, explosive, and immediately recognizable. It is an eau de toilette concentration. We've got bergamot, Italian lemon, and aldehydes in the top. It's an interesting choice of where to place aldehydes. Normally they're in the heart or the base of the fragrance, but here they're in the top. So it's going to be lightly dry and powdery, which is good for a sport fragrance. You've got lemony, elemy resins. You've got some citrus and pink pepper in the heart, and it's resting on a base of frankincense, amber, and woods. But this one actually captured my attention a little bit i'm interested in getting this one be on the lookout for that first impression coming up soon for christian dior om sport Next up, a brand new release that you can purchase right now is Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour Homme. A supremely long way from 30 Seconds to Mars, super cool frontman Jared Leto sits awkwardly in a booth with Lana Del Rey, like the stool softener he took the previous day has just activated. He kind of has that earnest, angsty look that he wants to exit stage left as quickly as possible. Lana Del Rey, on the other hand, as always, can take it or leave it, and she most often leaves it. But what about Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour Homme? Sounds pretty interesting. If you're a fan of the Gucci Guilty line, there are some hits, there are some misses, mostly hits in my book. It features in the top provincial lavender, you've got Italian lemon and juniper, Spanish cistus, orange blossom and nutmeg in the heart, you've got Indonesian patchouli, you've got dry woods, and of course, a bit of musk in the base. Promises to follow that Gucci Guilty DNA nicely, but come into its own in the dry down. Looking forward to this one, Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour Homme. Look for an upcoming first impression video of this one coming up soon as well. Next new release that you can get right now that we're going to talk about is from Roberto Cavalli. 25 years has gone by. He's celebrating his 25th edition with Womo Golden Anniversary. Now, if you're married, I think the color is silver, but it doesn't matter to Roberto Cavalli. He's all about the gold. I really like these bottles. If you like the Womo line of fragrances, you'll really enjoy the presentation of this one. About the fragrance, it is said, the signature Womo Accord of intense black violet is at the heart of the fragrance and joined by woody Gurjan balsam. 
for unforgettable sensuality, while a base of precious tonka bean introduces an exceptional leathery facet to the Golden Anniversary Edition. So Womo Golden Anniversary Edition, really cool bottle. It is an eau de parfum concentration. The next fragrance that was released as 2021 was ending is by Issy Miyake, another cool fragrance in the Nuit de Sea line of fragrances. It is Nuit de Sea Bois Arctique. Sounds like it's gonna be kind of a cool fusion of cold weather and summertime fragrance. Let's take a look at the breakdown. Top notes of grapefruit, mandarin, orange, and pink pepper. You've got heart notes of basil, geranium, and black pepper. My favorite base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, and tobacco. So a great trio in the bottom where the base of Nuit de Sea Bois Arctique. So look forward to that release. It was launched in the last quarter of 2021. Haven't seen or heard anything about it. Hopefully we'll see that released very shortly. All right, guys, now we're going to be shifting our focus onto fragrances that were recently announced that are going to be coming out in 2022. And I'm very excited about pretty much every single one of these fragrances. The first fragrance that we're going to take a look at and talk about a little bit is from Zadig and Voltaire or Zadigi Voltaire. I really enjoy the This Is Him line. And now we've got This Is Him Vibes of Freedom. Vibes of Freedom looks to be kind of a fresher or summertime or fresh version of the This Is Him DNA. Let's take a look at what's in it. Vibes of Freedom is an eau de parfum concentration. It's going to come in the 30 mil, 50 mil, and 100 mil size. I'm going to go ahead and grab up that 100 mil bottle because you know it's going to be good. It's classified as an energetic woody fragrance. An aromatic and tangy trait delivered by energetic lavender and effervescent mandarin. Cardamom notes are captured in a swirl of incense for an explosive spicy feel. A powerful trail of patchouli and cedar composes vibrant memories. So it sounds like it's going to be similar to This Is Love. It's going to be a little bit fresher version of that original darker kind of dry incense DNA. So definitely looking forward to Vibes of Freedom. Next up, Paco Rabanne and the Mint of Gold bars that they've created is announced in addition to the family of gold bricks. And that is One Million Elixir. So while it may seem like they're jumping on the Sauvage Elixir bandwagon, this has been in the works for a while. So really looking forward to Akorobans 1 million elixir. Now, is it going to be as dense or powerfully projecting as Sauvage Elixir is? Time will definitely tell, but I really do like the lineup of notes. Now, the press junket says that it's an intoxicating blend, deep and addictive, that infuses rich, floral, fruity notes. It says that it's a grand crew that vibrates with the contrast of the warm vanilla-infused woods and the more licorice Davana. So it does kind of sound similar to Sauvage Elixir, which also has licorice in it as well. Top notes feature natural sweet apple oil and the first hints of the Davana leaves. Immediately enveloping and rich make for a direct introduction to the bold and distinctive blend that has always been one million. Heart notes feature the very best Turkish rose and osmanthus, a floral with leathery apricot notes. And wild-grown tonka beans are part of the reason why this masterpiece composition stands out by the supreme quality of the fragrance. The sensual licorice divana lingers, vibrating with the precious extractions of patchouli and cedarwood oil distillations, and black vanilla seed pods round out the base notes. That really does sound very rich, very heavy, dense, and intoxicating. It says that 1 million elixir will be available in 100 ml parfum concentration. Now, Christophe Reynaud and Quentin Bish are going to be the perfumers for 1 million elixir, so definitely looking forward to this one. Little bit of confusion following the announcement of Mont Blanc Legend Red. So looking forward to this one coming out as well. Mont Blanc Legend has historically been a really nice staple signature scent. And this promises to be a nice though simple release for the line. So while it was announced in 2021, it's not going to be a 2021 release. It's actually going to be 2022. Now Mont Blanc Legend Red is going to feature a top note of orange. It's going to have a heart note of clary sage. And in the base, it's just going to very simply rest on woody notes right woodsy notes so apparently for 2022 simple is the new complex so looking forward to this release it should be really nice i like a good blood orange sounds like it's going to be a nice fresh citrus version of the light leather dna Carolina Herrera has a horrendous new release name and a horrendous new release bottle. Thank goodness it's limited edition. Now, I for one think all of the velvet bottles, and you know what I'm talking about. There's CH Men Kings, CH Men Beast, CH Men Under the Sea. Those are the absolute ugliest 
presentations, but the fragrances have been pretty nice. But they've announced a brand new one, and it is CH Men Hot Hot Hot. Yes, with an exclamation point after each hot. Apparently, it's going to be a pretty hot fragrance. Its focal point is on the desert and some floral notes that can appear in the desert. Hot 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 features fragrance notes of Szechuan pepper, grapefruit, it's got rhubarb, angelica, violet leaf, vetiver, leather, and sandalwood. Now, if you're a fan of the perfumer Emile Bevier Copperman, who created Givenchy Play, Givenchy Play Intense, 212 CH Men 212 VIP, then you're going to really enjoy this fragrance, CH Men Hot Hot Hot. But this one is going to be released as part of a duo, one for women, one for men, and it will be available right before Valentine's Day. It is an Eau de Parfum concentration. I'm also excited about this next fragrance, which is by Givenchy from the Gentleman line of fragrances, which are all so very good. Got that really nice iris, but it is Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé. Yes, it's a mouthful, but it's a really nice mix of a kind of a floral whiskey combination that's hopefully going to be done supremely well. It actually sounds really good. Let me describe this one for you. It is called a new whiskey scented edition for gentlemen. It says the fragrance is designed for grown men who recognize high quality, obviously, empowered by the amazing resemblances concerning fragrances and whiskey, an opening notes scented with mellow and warm whiskey absolute and refreshing bergamot to a floral note twirled with iris and chestnut. So we got that DNA, that iris that's in the DNA there. The final point uses base notes are warm and deep woody amber note, which brings out a mellow whiskey aroma aged in barrels. So if you like boozy whiskey along with a little bit of florals, now this one is gonna feature amber colored juice. It's also gonna be released sometime in early February. You know, it's obviously an eau de parfum concentration. Should be an excellent addition to a fantastic line of fragrances. Our next new release is actually a niche fragrance house. It is the house of Montal. It's one that sounds really good though. It's just got a really nice feel or smell in the name itself. It is Wood on Fire. Oud, sandalwood, vetiver, smoke, vanilla, and amber are the entire formula of Wood on Fire. It's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be dense. It's gonna have that sharp, woody, smoky aroma, kind of a combination of the two. Very much looking forward to this one. Again, you can pick it up now, 50 mil or 100 mil Eau de Parfum Concentration, Montal Wood on Fire. All right, guys, that's it for new releases. There's a lot going on there. If I've missed any, please let me know in the comments below. There's new stuff being released all the time. A lot of things going on in the background on the back burner in the works that are going to be coming out later on. So we'll have lots of cool announcements coming up in the near future. But this is kind of what's happening right now in men's fragrance. Again, if you know of any other fragrance releases that we would all be interested in knowing about, let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for stopping by. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll See you tomorrow.